Hi everybody. It's Crafty Glamper 77 and I'm holding her for a minute because she's being all needy. Um, but I just got home from work. I did a small Dollar Tree haul and I wasn't downstairs sitting on the couch loving on her like we kind of do routinely. So she's yeah, being a little needy. But I'm going to jump on here now and I'm going to do a Hobby Lobby haul. I'll probably put my TJ Maxx with it and my Alta because everything's kind of small. So that way it'll it'll be worth your guys' time watching. Okay. This, she straightens her legs up when watch. This is funny when I go to put her down. Come on. <laughs> she tenses her little legs up. Lay down, baby. You're all right. Um, yep. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. I hope I don't bore you to death. If you come on here when and every time I put a new haul out or something, thank you so much for jumping back on and spending some time with me. I so appreciate it, you guys. You have no idea. Um, these things I've had for a week and a half or so because it happened before my phone went when I was 50 minutes into that Timu haul um, and it decided to tell me I didn't have enough storage and stopped on me. I got discouraged and wouldn't even record anything for a while. I just didn't even mess with it. But, knock on wood, she seems to be working okay. It is Monday the 11th. I'm not sure when I'll upload this. My Dollar Tree one that I just did, I'll probably upload at work tomorrow or one day this week. But anyway, let's just get back with it here. 40% um, off, I think, is what the spring stuff is and Easter stuff right now at Hobby Lobby. So I thought these were cute. They're $2.99 a piece. They're wood. And I just thought how they were done was really pretty. I love the rough surface of it, the little sparkles. But I got this, this, and I think they might have had pink. I don't remember. They might have been down to these two colors. So I got those. I got their little leaves there, and they're on the base. I keep hitting myself in the head. But um, those are really cute. So, got those. Um, if you've been with me since I've started, you know that we love to camp. We are, well, not, we're glampers. Um, you won't see me outside in no tent on the ground with the bugs. When it's really hot or anything, I like my air conditioning. I like my heat when I need it. If I'm cold, I like my bathroom. I like my, you know, I just... I love to camp and be outside, and enjoy it, and sit around the fire, do walks. We take hikes, everything. But when it comes to the comfort part, I want to be in camper. So, but anyway, I got this. They, um, Hobby Lobby has not much, but a small little area that has camping stuff. And this is going to go for our six-foot table. Actually, we've got like one of these um, for the camper. So this is going to go on it, but I thought it was really cute. It says, wake up to nature, find your adventure, hike, relax and enjoy s'mores. Let's sleep under the star. It says all kinds of stuff. And I think it's so, so cute. But this size is the 52 by 72. And it's the flannel back, like most of them are. It's the plastic top, so it wipes clean. But $4.49, I do not think that any of this was on discount, but... I did not pass it up. They even had one and it was open, but I wouldn't have got it anyway. Um, I've got my own things for that. Picnic tables like this, same print for the top and where you sit. Oh, that was pretty cool, whoever came up with that. I did get a hat, this right here, and it's got the little ponytail up here. You can put your ponytail down there. It is Velcro. So there's that. I got khaki just because it goes with, we wear different colored shirts at work and it goes with everything. I got this thing through Timu. I don't know if I'm going to put a little bougie on here or a pair of jeans, but I think I also bought something at um, Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. I haven't been in this bag since I brought it up here. So... Um, I got this bag. It's because I like the color. Actually, it's not for any certain purpose or use. I just liked it. And it was $3.99. Most of these are, which is a really good deal because even though it doesn't zip or anything, you've got a little pocket in here. I don't know if you can see it, but 
Oh, there he goes. Um, sorry, that was my husband. I just did a Dollar Tree haul and he was coming down the road and um, he was in his boss's work truck and a trailer was um, hauling a dozer. So, looks like he's dumped it somewhere and he's going back down to the farm. Okay, but yeah, I love this army green. I'm going to put some kind of decal on there. And then I got these. Um, $3.99. Those weren't any on sale or anything like that. But I almost thought that would even be cute on the hat. And I think it'll fit perfect right between the two seams. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with them. Then I'll have a couple extra because I'll only put one on my hat. The hat doesn't have a price. Hello? Hello? That's really weird. I thought I heard somebody. I mean, Harley's right there. Well, I can't stop it or pause it since I'm recording on my phone. I didn't lock my front door and I'm upstairs, which I, I, nobody probably come in here, but um, I think the hat might have been $5.99. So the hat was $5.99. And of course, that wasn't on sale either, but I got those. Got the little bag. I'll put a decal on. It's just, and it is a nice size. I know it kind of jumped everywhere there, but I like this bag. I love that army green. So I got that. Um, that is supposed to be in my TJ Maxx bag. And I got a couple other things. I thought these were superb deals, guys. I just, I, I, I had to get it. Just, it's cute decor. I do not have a green thumb. I kill everything. When we plant stuff outside, it's stuff that can thrive well on its own <laughs> with not needing a little um, too much extra loving because I just, I don't know. I can kill a cactus. I have killed a cactus. But um, anyway, that's why I like faux plants because I like to put them around the house and they're pretty. Pretty in your windowsills on shelves. This was a regular $11.99, and they had it reduced to $2.74. But I love that pot. I guess, is it called terracotta or just a clay pot? I'm not sure. But I thought it was cute, and it's just got a little bit of greenery, and it's covered in the rocks. But yeah, $11.99. So that was a good deal for $2.74. Got that. This was regular $10.99, and I got it for, um, they double tagged it. I wish they hadn't done that one. I hope it comes off easy, but $2.99, and it just looks like grass, blades of grass, but I thought this was really pretty. I love the little box vase, whatever pot thing that it's in, so I thought that was really cute. Couldn't, can't beat that price. I just couldn't. And then this was regular $13.99. It was the most expensive one, but still well worth it. I paid $3.74. It's got this little iron, well, a little thin mesh um, holder, which has this. It's got the spring coiled top for the handle, which makes it really cute, accents it. And then little metal pails, and then it has the lilac in there with the, the grass. So I really thought that was pretty. So there's that one. I didn't do my thumbnail for my dollar one either. There's this one. And there's this. So I might hold one of those up with this at the end. Okay, and these are two pictures I did. This is the kind of stuff we have in our bedroom. Um, I love this. The back was tore. Had a hole in it. So I took it up front. They already had half off that day. And I took it up front and asked her if I could even get more of a discount. She said, no, they don't do that. But if I took it to the back, they have somebody there that will replace the back for free. Well, he did. He tore it off, took the staples out, unscrewed these, took the brackets out, measured, um, put tape or whatever he was using, two-sided stuff, put this back on there. He didn't really um, 
staple it back in, but he had that the two-sided tape stuff that he was using. And then he um, screwed the brackets back on. But it's a pretty big picture, but this is what it has on it. And I absolutely love it. We love old, tra old trucks. I'm a Chevy girl. I'd love to have an old square body Chevy. It's just my dream truck. But old Fords, old Dodges, the Power Wagon. Oh, yes. We love the old trucks. But I'll get up here so you can see it a little bit better. But really, really cool. I just thought that, that was so, so cool. So got that for us for the bedroom. And... I think I paid, oh gosh, $8.99 for this one. It was half off. So I paid the uh, $8.99. This one was $28 or close to it, like $27.99. So I paid $13.99 and I love it. This was our other one, this picture here. And then I'll come a little bit closer. If you guys want to see the detail, Chevy, love, my husband loves barns, old barns. We would love to just travel, have all the time in the world just to go travel and take pictures of old barns and bridges and trucks and I don't know, maybe we sound really boring people, but I thought it was really, really pretty. So yeah, that's for the bedroom as well. Um, so there's those. Yeah, and here's the tag. I thought it was. There's the tag for it. So it was $27.99. This just fell off. Okay, now I'll go ahead with the TJ Maxx one that I got. Hopefully this bag stuff isn't too noisy. Um, Harley found these really quick. I got her a couple little toys before Christmas. They squeak. Both of them do. And they're peeps. And she literally dug it out and was tearing up the paper thing. So I just popped it off and let her play with them. But I grabbed them so we could bring them back up here. I think I paid for the two $3.99 or $4.99. I honestly can't remember. But they're so cute and soft. Love those. So got her that. Got some more tea, and if you watch one of my hauls, I've already showed the tea, so we were wanting to eat more healthy, or drink more healthy. Um, we didn't have a teapot. I can boil water, I know, but I loved growing up and seeing a tea kettle on our stove, and I'm pretty sure my grandma had one, but I know we did. I keep thinking mom's was copper. I can't remember. Could totally be wrong. Mom, if you watch this haul, was it a copper teapot or what was it? Maybe it was silver. I, I don't I don't remember. But this is organic matcha, matcha green tea, rich in antioxidants, light and delicate taste. It's sweet and mild. Um, so I've got this one, and I'd also got some from the Dollar Tree the other day, but we haven't done any of them yet because I bought me a teapot. I was so excited to buy one. I spent $14.99 on it, but I love, if you watch one of my, um, it's my Hobby Lobby haul, and my mom and Scott um, got me a $100 gift certificate or gift card for Hobby Lobby, and we needed new dishes. We'd had our dishes forever, plates and stuff, so I bought some, and they were cream speckled. Then I found this, and it's cream speckled. What? Yes. Matched perfect. See, Mom, now you can see it. It matches perfect, and I love the look of this wood. How it's all swirly, and the handle's the same way. The handle for the lid is the same way. So, yeah, it just, it comes off of there. They've got it fastened down, like, really good. Um, which, I guess I can, it's had its debut now, so I can open it. So let's just take that off and that way we can see yeah it's really pretty in there so pretty and stainless steel clean looking but cute little lid I and here's the name brand but I absolutely love it and I'm so excited to use it I don't 
know what the taste of green tea is like. I don't really even know if we're going to like the green tea. If we don't, I'll just make regular hot tea. I know I like tea, regular tea. So, but I know this stuff's supposed to be good for you. Does its energy. Key cheese, this brand, whatever that is are inspired by the ancient teachings of the Far East where for centuries plants and herbs have been used for healthy living. It was taught that QI, Ki, Kui, is the life force that is present in all living things and is most abundant when we live in harmony with ourselves and our environment, eat well, and exercise. Fair trade, it says, they are prepared and traded in a true spirit of partnership with the 10 remote mountain communities that grow QI, tea. That's cool. They're organic, gluten and dairy free, no artificial flavors, non-GM, free of staples and glue, and um, they're unbleached tea bags, individually wrapped and compostable, compostable. So I don't know. I guess that would be the brand, but there's also this little thing down here. So I really don't know, guys. But yeah, and then there's fair trade. So what's the brand? But anyway, we'll give it a try. I'm gonna try to do better. I've already gave up my pop. That was part of my weight loss journey. Got this for the girls. Raw sugar kids, bubble bath and body wash, raspberry oat milk. This is for Ava and Mia. It was $3.79. Smells so good. I think they'll like it too. This was a 12 fluid ounce. So, got this for the girls. Um, there's that. Oops. And if you have been with me for the get-go of my YouTube journey on here, all my videos, you know I love and grew up with Mario. So, when I saw this, it's Mario. It was $9.99. And there's the front little, po um, not pocket, but where your pocket would be. That is what is on there. And they have the same picture logo on the back. But I loved it. And I really like this color. I think it's a pretty, pretty color. So, yeah. And I already showed you, but it's got the Nintendo. It's not a sticker or anything. It's just a tag. And it was in the men's. Am I the... I can't be the only one. I love to find my flannels in the men's, except Timu. I have scored with Timu flannels. I love their flannel shirts. I bought quite a bit, but around here in like shopping stores, I love the men's. I like the men's t-shirts. I love their sweatshirts. I love their flannels. They fit bigger and they're more comfortable. I, I don't know. It's like, why can't y'all make the women's stuff like that? But anyway, um, two more little things here. I spent that day um, $75.39, but I had returned stuff, and I had $48 credit. So, out of pocket, I really only spent $27.30. And then at Hobby Lobby, it was $44.39 minus my little plants because I actually made another store trip the other day and bought those three plants. But that's that. I love this um, hairspray. This is the natural hold, the chi, chai, everybody says it different. Paraben free, made in the USA, and it is 12 ounces, but I paid $11.99. It's comparable to like $23 is what the sticker says, which I believe that, especially in salons. But um, you when I started buying these years ago, they were $9.99. So they haven't went up drastically, but they have increased in price just like everything else. But I got that. And then I might have overpaid for this, but I wanted it mainly because of how it looked. Yeah. Um, I'm not always like that, but I can go with plain white and plain black, but I thought this was pretty. It's a power trip, a power strip, not a power trip, but the brand Serena, I don't know, but um. It has it. I like it because I don't know if you guys can see that real well, but I just thought it was really pretty and it has the marble look to it. But you got three plugins. This will do 
David's phone, and plus I have a block with a cord that I can actually use and charge my Apple stuff to. And then right there, I can plug in my computer. So, yeah. Wait, no. Would this do my Apple, my iPad? Yeah, it wouldn't do my MacBook. My MacBook is something else. But I don't know. Anyway, I liked it. Six foot. Um, it's got one USB port, one type C port, three grounded outlets, and I paid $14.99. It says it's comparable to $20, but it's compatible with home theaters, speakers, smartphones, tablets, gaming consoles, computer, AC power devices, and USB power devices. But yes, I went and did that. I just had that brain thought about me that day that, hey, I'm going to get it because it's cute and pretty. I probably could have paid two or three dollars less and got plain black and white, but I decided I wanted the pretty one. I do that sometimes. I'll pay a little extra for that. Most of the time I don't, but it's hard to hide those things behind stuff. So if people's going to, it's going to be out where people can see it, at least let it look halfway decent. Okay. I have I don't even have all my stuff for my Timu haul the other day put up. I have so much stuff. My Dollar Tree haul that I just uploaded today, um, Monday the 11th. I hope everybody had a great Monday. Your start of your work week is good, I hope. Um, mine was, it was a good day. It went fast. Um, went yesterday. And we went to Ulta. It wasn't part of our plan for the day, but um, we spent $102.78, and I did have $11 in points, so they did that, and I had a $10 off spending $50, spending $50 coupon, so it was $21 I got off, so it would have been the $102 plus $21 more, dollars. so yeah, that helped. Um, just got a few little things. I was really excited about this. So, it's the, I guess, do you call it lange? I don't know. But it's one of these hair drying brush, brushes. I don't know. If anybody out there has used these, let me know. I'm really excited to use it. I have, my mom has natural curl, curly hair. I have wave. I don't have the natural curl. But I have wave. If it's humid or it's raining or I let my hair dry naturally it's wavy but um I flatten it every day so I'm drying my hair and I have my comb and I'm going like that so I've seen these different brands and stuff and I thought well that's cool two and one yeah I'll give it a try so I got that and it was $89 they used my $10 coupon and the other thing I don't know that ended up costing $70.92. Maybe they had a sale on it already and I didn't see the markdown. <laughs> My coupon was 10, which would make it 79. Then they call it a regular redemption. It is a store thing. There was another $8.08 .08 off. I don't know how to read these. Anywho, or maybe they broke it down like that with my $11 and in different increments on each item. I don't know. But this is a two-in-one titanium brush dryer. I got the black. Has a 7.9 foot power cord. 360 vented airflow. Um, it says it has does worthy blowouts at home with one easy-to-use styling tool. Um, it has a, a hair dryer with a thermal brush. Tug-resistant bristles. Grip the hair, giving you just the right amount of tension to create smooth styles and incredible body and lift. And I have very thin, fine hair, so it's flat. There is no body and bounce to my hair. So, that'd be nice if this would help with that. So, and it gives you the directions on what you, on what to do. I mean, I'm definitely not going to waste y'all's time reading that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give that a try. I was pretty stoked. Pretty, pretty stoked. Excited. And then I got this brand, ColourPop. That's top. I... I can't buy a palette and use every color. There's only certain colors I like and will wear. Um, but I like the nudes and the shimmery kind, the colors and stuff, the browns. 
I've worn them all my life. Maybe I need to change. I don't know if when we get older, we should change our colors. But I've been these colors forever. And those are the colors. And I thought they were really pretty. Um, okay. This was regular 14. I got a dollar 43 off, which was made at 1247. But um got Boa, Pebble Beach, Python, Slated, Snake Eyes, Cold Blooded, Rock Steady, Constrictor, and Bedrock. How they ever come up with those names, I have no idea. But um let's see what the pigment is. Oh yeah. That's some good pigment. Oh, poo. I put up my wipes. I didn't clean everything off, but I did put up my makeup wipes because I need them in the morning to get ready. I'm trying to wipe it off my bag, and it stayed on pretty good. Mm. But yes, love these colors. And it's called That's Top. And it's the Pressed Powder Palette. Color pop. Made in the USA. Oh, I like that. With a little teeny weeny heart in there. Came in this little box. I guess that's top is the name of um, the color colors that are here. No. I don't know. What is this one? That's top color pop. I don't know. But that's what it looks like. It's very pretty. Love those colors. I won't use every, there's like two colors on there I probably won't use. Um, we'll see. Maybe I just need to play around with my makeup too. This was Burt's Bees. It was on the clearance rack in the back. It was $2.50. Um, so this is Lip Shimmer. $1.33 and it says Fig is the color. So let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and rip it. It's going to be a pain to get it out. It's in there so good. Mm. Yeah, fig is the color. Cute little stick. Looks like you just twisty it up. Um, get this off here. I know, honey. I'm almost done. Can you believe it? That's the color. This might be too, too much. It smells like mint. Sorry, you guys. Very creamy. I like the color. I really like the color. So I like this color better than I do pinks. Thank you for the nice comments. I mean, I'm. I don't like pink on me. Um, but a lot of you have said that the pink looked really nice. So thank you so much. It's just not a color I've wore much of, so I'm not very comfortable with it. But, um. I did get me some e.l.f. eyeliner. This is the No Budge Retractable Eyeliner, and I got it in the black Noor. I don't know how you say that. Um, it's just the normal standard size, 0 0.06 ounce. But um, we have a girl that has started a shop, and she's they do tattoos there. It's a boutique. They do eyebrows. Um, they do permanent eyeliner. And I think for $199, you can get top and bottom. So $400 maybe for the whole set. Or you can just get your top done or you can just get your bottom done. More than anything, um, I would know I definitely want the, I want the top. But um, I'm getting this done. I don't know when. I'm hoping it's during the summer this year. But I'm definitely getting it done. Um, or if I'm going to do top and bottom. Some people say, and I don't want my eyes to look small. If you get black top and bottom, it makes your eyes smaller. But if you get it on the top, it makes your eyes just accents them and doesn't take the size, you know, makes your eyes look any different in the size. So I really don't know. But I wear it on top and bottom now, so why not do it? Never have to wash it off or even mess with it. And if I want to get up, run to the grocery store, because this is one thing I always put on. I got it with it. I'm saving money. I'm not having to buy these things. But anyway, that, oh, and I got 26 cents off that Burt's Bees, so it's 224 
Um, $5 for the eyeliner, but with the uh, discount, it's $4.49. And I've only got one more thing. And you guys don't have to listen to me jibber-jabber. No more. I like the colors on this. This is Morph 2 Ready and 5 sh Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this is the color. I think they're really, really pretty. I didn't even open this one at the store. I just looked at it. Hubby found this one. I found the other one. He found this. This is what the packaging looks like. That's cool. Never seen one like that. Um, the top left, this one, I know I'll use for sure. I might. I really don't know about the dark ones. Um, this was $7 and with a discount, it was $6.28. But <clears throat> they are really pretty. We'll check out the pigment here. Let's do, oh, I'm out of my camera here. There it is. And then there's the middle one. It's got good pigment and shimmer to it. I do like it. I think I'm just gonna have to, on one evening on the weekend or something, just kind of come up here, mess with my makeup and see, kind of experiment, see if I can try different colors and styles with it. But that is really pretty. I do like that in the little container. And that's what the box looks like. All right, that's all I have, guys. I've caught up everything, so I actually can clean up here and get this all picked up and put away. Yay, it's a hot mess up here. So I hope all of you have a great rest of your week. I don't know when I'll upload it this week. I might wait till later in the week because I just did one today. I did one yesterday, Timu yesterday, a Dollar Tree today, and I just made a Dollar Tree haul before I did this haul. So I've got a Dollar Tree haul this week and I've got this haul. So um, guys, I really, I'm really loving that color. Kind of have it all over me, but I love this color. I do. That's going in my purse for sure. If they'd have had more than that, I might've, well, I don't know if I would have or not because I didn't want to know what it was going to look like. Anyway, I'm rambling. Okay. Thank you so, so much for spending time with me and watching this. If you're a first time person, I think I've already said this at the beginning, but anyway, thank you again. I really appreciate it. I truly do. Like it if you want, share if you want, um, subscribe if you want. I saw I'm getting closer. I'm still quite a ways off of the 6,000 mark, but heck, when I first started this, I never even thought I'd have 50 people. And um, so I'm grateful for all of you. Without you, my numbers, obviously, you know, without all my friends out there, I wouldn't be at the number I am now. But I'm below six, but I'm slowly climbing. So yay. Um, so yeah, if you feel like um, subscribing, go for it. If not, totally cool. I just appreciate your time with me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and um, I'll talk to you guys later.